Samsung is finally upgrading this key feature on the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus that will significantly improve the battery life. You see, Samsung uses a true LTPO display tech on their Ultra phones. For example, on the S23 lineup, the S23 Ultra has a screen that allows for a 1 Hz to 120 Hz dynamic refresh rate range to save on battery when higher values aren't needed like looking at a static picture. They're also more power efficient and typically brighter than the LTPS panel. The regular S23 and S23 Plus still use LTPS display which allows a narrower 48 Hz to 120 Hz refresh range, which means they consume way more energy than an LTPO screen. Thankfully, things are finally about to change with the S24 lineup as the S24 and S24 Plus will also use a true LTPO display like the S24 Ultra. This will make a big positive impact on the battery life, especially if you use the always-on display, as it just uses 1 Hz of refresh rate, and the display is now well capable to provide just that. We also have an update on the design. Ice Universe says that he has enough evidence that Samsung has changed the design of the S24 and S24 Plus. We know one of the changes is going to be slim bezels thanks to that slight increase in display size. Interestingly, Ice Universe mentions that the bezels are going to be even slimmer than the S22, which by the way has the thinnest bezels on a Samsung phone. Though he also mentions that it's not going to be thinner than Xiaomi's upcoming phone, which is expected to look like this. But the S24 Ultra, however, will retain the same frame design as the S23 Ultra. Also, the display size, battery capacity, and Geekbench scores of the phone have been revealed. The S24 Plus will see a marginal increase in display size from 6.6 .6 inches to 6.65 inches. The battery capacity will see an upgrade as well. It will now feature a 4,900 mAh battery, which is 200 more than its predecessor. The regular S24 as well as the S24 Ultra on the other hand will feature the same display size and the same battery. Moving on, the S24 Plus also made an appearance on Geekbench for the very first time with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and the phone managed 2,233 single-core points and a 6,661 multi-core score. That is a massive 34% increase in performance compared to the S23 Plus in multi-core, and about 20% in single-core, which is quite impressive. We thought the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is going to bring minor improvements to the CPU performance, but thankfully that is not the case. The listing also reveals the phone will run Android 14 out of the box and will have 8 GB RAM. There are rumors that Samsung will also offer 12 GB of RAM for the regular regular S24 variants, while the S24 Ultra might be offered in 12 and 16 gigs variants. With that said, I will make sure to keep you updated, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you around.